Forensics Detectors, I am Dr. Kaz, your ozone gas detector expert, and today we are presenting to you our FD600 version, perfect for those people that are sterilizing using ozone to kill the coronavirus and the various pathogens, or for folks that want to make sure they're not breathing in high levels of ozone. Check it out, folks. Large color screen, 0 to 20 parts per million, 0.1 part per million resolution. Comes with a built-in pump and extendable telescopic probe air in through the probe through the tubing and onto the sensor check it out and gives you the ozone concentration that's basically how it works it has a built-in pump so it draws the air through if you don't want that no problem just pop it off and use it as it is it has a belt clip pop it onto your belt and use it for protective measure also has advanced menu functionality for calibration presets of alarms, LED alarm vibration, and buzzer. Comes with a luminary carry case, large battery, lasts up to 10 hours on one USB recharge. 30-day money back guarantee, one year warranty, everything you need, the best on the market, hands down, I guarantee it. You're gonna love it. Bad eyes, look, no problem, it's a big screen. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us for our unboxing of our FD600 ozone detector. The unit, as you know, comes in a aluminum carry case. Very nice indeed. Just go ahead, pop that open, and you will find immediately your ozone detector manual with at the back here your calibration certificate signed by our air quality assurance engineer, folks, to assure you this product is working to your specification. And folks, check it out. As you could see, the detector, the tubing, the charger cable and the charger itself it's usb so you can plug that up to any smartphone charger not a problem and on the side the unit also comes with the telescopic probe folks okay so as you know air in it goes through the unit through the tubing and then you plug that up to the unit itself and i will show you how that plugs up so just go ahead folks pop the detector out and just go ahead and as it comes out just press the middle button and as you could see the unit starts doing a self check and as it's self checking and counting down let's go through the unit's features okie dokie so in the middle here we have a nice rubberized buttons the middle is on off also when it's operating you press that guy go to the menu select left and right in the middle at the bottom, there is our buzzer hole. So you're assured that you will hear the buzzer. As you can see, some large red lights, LED lights. When the alarms are going off, you will not miss them. And of course, our large LCD color screen. It's very nice rubberized housing, folks. Anti-slip grip. So this does indeed have a rubberized feeling, folks quite elegant indeed at the back we have our stainless steel belt clip that pops on to your belt or you can add a sling or hook or you could pop that on a hook and that could store we have our label specifications so you never forget what this detector performs on the top here folks is our barb that's our inlet barb you could pop the tubing straight onto it on the side here is our usb charging port protected with this rubberized cover so that's how it works folks and this actually also unscrews and we have our sensor in there with a little filter in that guy right there so it's very well engineered and designed <clears throat> okay folks so this is the unit as you see it if one wants to go into the menu screen you just pop that guy pop it press it once and you go to the various settings here we have our alarm sets our alarm records gas zero gas check set the time and everything else now as you could hear the pump is operating it's sucking and you could see the icon that means the pump is operating you want to stop that just press left then right the pump is off turn it back on it's on again 
so it's easy to turn off the pump and turn it back on. Common function that people typically would need to do is to zero calibrate the detector. Very easy to do. Just go into gas zero, select 03, press save, and that gives you a solid baseline. That was less than three seconds. Go back, go back, and you're back into business. And that's important to do. I'd recommend you. People do that every time before a day session or before you take an important measurement. Let's go ahead and attach the probe to the detector. You have your silicone tubing. Just go ahead on one end, plug that guy up to the top bulb. On the other end, let's leave the detector right there. On the other open end, if we could find that guy, just go ahead and place this tube perfectly over the tube of the probe. That gives you a very snugly fit. Very important, folks. We don't want any leakage or air coming through, which will dilute the ozone concentration and give us erroneous readings. We definitely want to be avoiding situations like that. So this guy is good to then ready to probe. Again, air is sucked through into the telescopic probe and then through the tubing, through all the tubing that we've connected it to and into the detector itself. As a quick demo, I have my ozone generator operating. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the pump on the detector. It's sucking ozone now, or I should say air through the probe and I'm gonna expose it. Here's my ozone that's coming from the unit. I'm going to put that on the home screen so you could start seeing how fast it detects. Look at that. I've got a fair length of tubing and it's starting to detect ozone immediately and the alarms are going off. You see that folks? So that's how fast, even with the length of tubing, ozone is detected with this setup. Once you reach 20 parts per million, you hit the high levels. Okay, I've taken it off. And as you can see again, very fast coming down to zero. Very, very quick response time and recovery time indeed. So guys, this is the best unit Forensics Detectors offers the marketplace and best detector I've come across my 22 years of working with gas detectors. Has everything you need, very accurate and reliable. We are here to help you contact us anytime. And again, folks, you wanna do point sampling? That doesn't have to be on. You could take that off. Not a problem at all. Okay, have a great day and be safe. Bye-bye.